Kingston as a UNESCO creative city of music. My ministry has embarked on a raft of programs aimed at supporting the continuation and popularity of Jamaica's six musical genres and beautifying the creative epicenter of our country's capital. A major success was achieved. A little over a year ago, in 2018, November 2018, when the reggae music of Jamaica was inscribed on the UNESCO's representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Now, the nightlife came back to downtown with the redevelopment of Kingston Waterfront, and less than a month ago, the Port Royal cruise ship pier welcomed more than 2,000 visitors from the United Kingdom and the Port Royal became the gateway to Kingston. At a glance, destination Kingston has never been stronger, ladies and gentlemen. Now the time has come to add the embellishment to further refine and enhance the spirit and ethos of this rich cultural city. And we believe that we can tie all the elements which makes Kingston truly a creative city together with public art. A growing body of research has positively identified murals as a catalyst for social, cultural, and economic benefits. Research also adds that murals have the ability to alter moods and promote mental health. In fact, many years ago in the 80s when I was the candidate caretaker, caretaker MP in Central Kingston, we had a lot of murals. There weren't so much murals of people who have passed, but there were murals of artists, of entertainers. And it did create a nice vibe because it, you know, you're down in the, the heart of the city and if everybody calls it, those days I would call it more ghetto rather than inner city. And, but just beautifying the space was very, very uplifting. So, it offers accessibility to art and creative expressions, expressions with little or no cost barriers, often related to museums, galleries, or private collections. So through the visual aesthetics, murals promote a sense of identity, a sense of belonging, and attachment. They are welcoming and strengthen the brand appeal of our community. Internationally, we are familiar with the Wall of Respect in Chicago and the Clarion Alley in San Francisco, to name a few. These spaces of public art have served as backdrops to music videos and movies. They become a site of interest for local and international visitors and a safe haven for communities at the crosswalks with drug and gun violence. Mural placed, murals placed in volatile communities and their environs demonstrate to residents that these communities are cared for and respected, making crimes of opportunity, such as vandalism, illegal dumping, drug abuse and robbery, less likely ladies and gentlemen. So today, I'm excited that the hard work of the Mexican Embassy, the KSAMC, the Edna Manley College of the Performing and Visual Arts, and the Ministry of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport has brought us all here together today to celebrate the unmatched power of partnership, dedication, and vision. Our objectives have been in alignment from this project what was conceptualized, Ambassador and Mayor. Quickly, thought was transcribed to paper and then brought to life through the input of all our stakeholders. There was unity of purpose between all partners. We each are committed to highlighting opportunities for Kingston to showcase in creative ways the essence of its culture. Utilizing art as a focal point and attraction for visitors 
to communities within the city, creating satellite enterprises from community tourism projects and economic generating activities, promoting social and community enterprises locally, beautifying and rejuvenating the capital city, among others. So the ministry, through our paint up the creative space project, under the umbrella of the Jamaica Creative Program, will have as its canvas, walls, fences, buildings, and public spaces across Jamaica. Artistic talent will be drawn from communities to reflect our identity, our beauty, our vitality, and to transmit positive messages and images. I want to congratulate the mayor of this beautiful city for commissioning this artwork here, for ensuring that Kingston, the creative city of music, will become vibrant and exciting through all the beautiful murals that will be displayed. And so, as I complete my, my comments, I just want to say to all of you that we should look forward to continue the partnership with other embassies in beautifying the city and to invite the members of the Diplomatic Corps here today is to also make sure one of your muralists come to Jamaica and contribute to the work beautifying downtown Kingston. So I thank you so much. It's a great day. And I look forward to our continued uh, input into making Kingston truly a creative city of music. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.